This is definitely a summer bag in my opinion, but I still had to get it. I don't know, these just made me feel like a boss. So after I lost them, I was pretty sad and I had to get me another pair. Welcome back to another haul. If you are not new, I appreciate you for returning. And if you're new, I'm Shantae Ree. I do a little bit of everything, but more stuff dedicated to fashion, such as unboxing, hauls, and reviews. So if this is your type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's be friends. Also, all links and important information will always, always, always be in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out. Again, um, make sure you subscribe and then after you subscribe, kindly hit that bell so that you know the next time I post. Now, we are gonna get straight into this haul because y'all know I gotta tell y'all where I got the pieces how long the pieces took to get here as well as the price and all of that good stuff let's get straight into it i will be starting with blush marks since that is the place that i got the most items from well it's kind of neck and neck with blush mark and aliexpress but i'm gonna be starting with blush mark and as y'all can see i got my bag right here um i don't know how they be doing it but they be stuffing like a whole bunch of stuff in one bag most of the items from blush mark are in this bag right here and also this bag and y'all tell me if you would have thought that all of this stuff was in one bag go in here one two three four five and I had one more thing from them which makes six items let's get into it I'm gonna open this bag first so in here I have I don't know. I'm just feeling the festivities. Um, Y'all let me know down below. If, even if you have kids or you don't have kids, like if you plan to um, get dressed up or do anything to yourself for Halloween. I got this sweatshirt that says Monster. It's in lime green. And it says what happens to mom after she counts to three. I just thought this was really cute. So I'm gonna find um, a cute outfit to throw on with this. And I think that I'm gonna try some type of um, special effects makeup on my face. I haven't decided if I wanted to try to find an MUA or if I wanna do a DIY, I'm leaning more towards DIY. But yeah, I wanted to do something cute for Halloween. So I did get this sweatshirt. It's pretty good material and it fits me perfectly. Like it doesn't fall too long or too short. Even though I do feel like I have a um, short torso. So that's that sweatshirt. What's next? These shorts, Bay Bay. Let me tell you. These right here, you most definitely have to wash straight out of the bag because they cute and all, but they smell like a seafood market. Okay? Oh. We don't like that. So I got these in a size medium. They do not look cheap. That's the only thing I was afraid of when I got these shorts. I was kind of scared that they was going to look cheap when I put them on, but they did not look cheap. I wore these already actually. And they have debuted on my um, Instagram. So 
make sure you follow me on instagram also show your girl some love but yes these have already made it to ig and i really love the fit that i put on with these so make sure y'all go check me out so that's those next a pair of shades and this is most definitely the last um set of things that i'm gonna purchase uh that are for the summer but i had these shades already and i had lost them last summer they're just a black pair of like kind of square oversized shades i don't know these just made me feel like a boss so after i lost them i was pretty sad and i had to get me another pair So that's that black pair of shades you can't go wrong with a black pair of shades to go with any outfit during the summer um i am going on a girl's trip in october and i plan to wear um a top that is very glittery and let me tell you, these right here, these are fire. When the light hit it, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. They not BBSs, but I mean, I mean, they real cute. I did get them in a size 40. I think my feet grew, to be honest. I used to be like a seven and a half slash eight. Lately, I've been having to go up into eight and a half slash nine sizes. Um, not too happy about that, but yeah, I got these in a size 40 and they fit just right. I am particular about my sandals. I do not like my heels too close to the edge of the shoe or my toes almost hanging over, but these just made the cut. So, yes, I think these are going to be fire with the outfit that I plan to wear that includes a whole lot of shimmer and glitter. All right, next, I could not resist these sweatpants. I felt like I needed more sweats, um, more bottoms, period, but these sweats really caught my eye. It says Nirvana on this side. And then it has like that graphic look going on. Can y'all see? And then at the bottom, it just looks like that. Love these. And it's plain on the back. So all your graphic stuff is on the front of the pants. And this part right here, very, very stretchy, very comfortable. Only thing is I do wish that it had pockets, but I still think these are cute. I'm not gonna say it's real thick material, but it's not really thin either. So, I mean, I feel like I got what I paid for with these. And now I'm gonna slide over to the AliExpress stuff. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. These next two that I'm about to pull out, I did give a little sneak peek on my IG story. And the girls was just like, period. So, this, I believe both of them were under $20 each. Yeah, both of them was under $20, $20 each. I'm going to just show y'all. I'm going to just show y'all. This bag right here. I just feel like she's giving, she's giving cute. She's giving a lot of things. She's giving don't play with her. I don't know. It's just the silver detailing for me on top of the white 
and it looks and feels like leather i'm pretty sure it's not because like i said this bag was under 20 dollars and this is what i really love about the bag so you can wear it like this or you can pull this down slide this down as well if i can pull it down okay there we go now once you pulled it down you have this right here slide that in and it clicks and then you do the same on this side boom so it makes it like a smaller looking half moon bag so handbag and then you can make this longer it's the versatility for me it did come with a silver chain but um i wasn't really feeling the silver chain um it had a long silver chain so you could leave this like this and then hook one clasp on this side and the other clasp on this side and you could wear it like a crossbody but i just liked it without the chain so i would definitely alternate in between wearing the handle shorter and longer so i like it because it's pretty much like two or three looks in one bag and like i said we love versatility especially for one one good price and then the inside is just black and I have an anklet in there. I really love this bag, even though it's simple. It's, it doesn't have anything on the outside other than the silver hardware. It's really cute. All right, so the next bag. I first saw Glow Princess with this bag and I'm gonna insert one of the pictures. And I said, I gotta have her. Bring her to me. I, I searched and I searched until I found her. Now, I did not know this is the bag. This is definitely a summer bag in my opinion, but I still had to get it even though summer is over now but with this bag so i did not know that this inside bag actually came out like you have a, a basket weave looking thing and then you have this might be possible that you might like this part might come flying out i don't know i don't be doing a lot so this definitely wouldn't i wouldn't have an issue with it coming out for me but so it has the long strap i guess if you want to wear it like on your shoulder or as a cross body but i would wear it like this i could see me now on somebody's beach looking real cute um so with this one of course you just open it Now you could have it open to its full potential like that, but I like it to look smaller and scrunched up. So I would just pull that like that and then kind of push it down to match this uh, half moon shape. That's how I would wear this bag. I do believe this is a dupe of another bag. I just don't know exactly what company i think glow princess had forward tagged um for her bag but i'm not sure i just know that it was cute i was in love it was affordable and i had to have her so that's 
it for the purses. Now, I'm gonna show y'all. Yes, yes I am very much a Pop Smoke fan. I have a Meet the Woo tee and it has his face on it got his jewelry his nice little ap watch and i mean there's not too much to say about this i thought it was fire when i saw it and this i did already debut again on my ig and i wore this pair with those um shorts that i got from blush mark and i felt like that fit was just a vibe so yes, I have a um, Meet the Woo tee. I will say when I first got it, I didn't feel like it was as crispy as the pictures. Like, I don't know. I kind of feel like this white part is not as white as it was in the pictures, but y'all know sometimes the colors do vary from when you actually get an item and how it looks online. So I'm not complaining. It does have some stretch to it. If you stretch it too much, it looks real white. It kind of do a little bit, but not really. So I don't have any complaints about this t-shirt. And I don't have a lot of graphic tees. So I do plan to start getting more. Again, that is from AliExpress. Next item I have is kind of like actually a three in one. It's an outfit and a scarf. Again, I am going on a girl's trip. So I found this three piece because I was like, I want to I want to give classy grown woman vacation vibes. So I did get this three piece set. This is the top. And it's a button up. So you can actually probably wear it um, tied up or you could just wear it buttoned down. And then most of the models on the pictures had um theirs just buttoned all the way up and then it tucks into the shorts sorry about the noise if y'all can hear the traffic outside but this is the head scarf um i honestly haven't worn a lot of these so i'm hoping that i'll be able to tie it cute on my head and it will stay on but i didn't know that you could buy the whole outfit separate the shorts are still on the way, so I'll just insert pictures. I do have one more item, um, two more items from AliExpress, but they've taken a while to get here, and I wanted to go ahead and do this video. So nine times out of ten, I'm going to insert those two items after they get here because they're supposed to get here today, even though I got the notification yesterday, and they weren't here. But yes, um, one of those items I'm super, super hyped about. So I'm really hoping that it gets here this afternoon so I can record that clip and add it in here so y'all can see because one of the items, I have a strong feeling that a lot of people are going to ask me where I got it from. And y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you where I got the pieces. So anyways, this last place is going to be Plato's Closet. And I did go to the Play-Doh's closet nearest to me. This is a pair of like um, faux leather, just black leggings. And it's from Fashion Nova. To be honest, I have never shopped on the Fashion Nova website. Um, I'm kind of scared that I would get the wrong sizing from the site. And I hate like having to return anything or um like swap stuff out i just don't even be trying to do all that so i was able to get these from my local plato's closet and these actually look new they do not look like they've been worn and let me tell y'all here's the price So, I feel like, you know, my body is not that in shape, but still, these right here make me feel and look very snatched, if I do say so myself.
last item that i have for now to show y'all is a pair of sandals of course they are a dupe for the um bottega veneta slides that everybody has been wearing so couldn't resist these because they are black and it's giving again grown woman classy vibes had to snatch these up also while i was in plato's closet because um i don't know y'all i'm trying to get away from wearing so much black because i'm starting to feel like majority of my closet is black and i do already have like a couple of pair of black sandals like one of them is these uggs that i do have on now that i did already give y'all a um unboxing on but i just feel like these don't go with everything like the type of sandal that it is it doesn't go with everything and also i don't like the fact that my heel comes like right here like if my foot was any bigger it would be hanging off the edge the other black pair of sandals i have is like studded and those also don't go with everything because of the style of the sandal so if i wanted to get dressy cute i could definitely throw these on and plus they're black so they would go with everything looking at this side they do look like they haven't been worn but i can tell that they were at least tried on when i flipped them over but i mean that's fine with me like i said it's the end of summer and i'm just going on a trip so I grabbed these up and this was the price for these sandals. If you haven't shopped at Plato's Closet, I would most definitely recommend. They do sell um, just like designer stuff and name brand stuff for cheaper, for cheap um as well as other things that are trending that was pretty much my haul again i'll insert those clips if i do end up getting the other items today it's a bathing suit and it is an airpods case it's a palm angels um airpods case so yes hope y'all enjoyed and let me know which items were your favorite let me know if y'all plan to shop at any of these places if you don't already after running around i came back home and the package was here from aliexpress that i was telling y'all about so finally finally i can give y'all the true unboxing experience because i got these freshly out of the mailbox and they are not open y'all know i be thirsty so i always be opening stuff we about to we about to unbox this together all right so i know this one is the bathing suit i feel like it's gonna give what it's supposed to give i'm really ready to open that airpod case but yeah let's see and of course i'm gonna just insert a picture so that y'all get the point clear straps um bathing suit i ain't gonna lie my i feel like my torso is kind of thick um i did get a large i don't know Let's see okay so it has a clasp that goes around your neck hmm oh yeah it, it'll fit so it's the um white bathing suit because you know they're all white on chocolate and different <laughs> but it's the top and then the bottoms which i'm pretty sure this is the front because it's bigger than the back so this is for miami if y'all seen my um other aliexpress haul that i did where i had the white cover-up pants that were like fishnet and then um that was supposed to have been a set by itself but that whole see-through top thing 
wasn't working for me. So I substituted that with this top. I'm gonna wear this and these bottoms and then the white fishnet cover-ups on top. That's the bathing suits. And we're gonna open the AirPods case. And I'm about to show y'all, I hope this fit my case. I'm about to show y'all too um, exactly why in another video I did, if y'all seen it, I said um, I wasn't going to leave links to like the AliExpress stuff if it's dupes because nine times out of ten when I be trying to go back to the item, it be gone because, you know, if it's a dupe, then technically, you know, they're not supposed to be selling that stuff. So if they get caught, they either get kicked off the website or their items get removed. So I don't know if y'all want me to still leave the link just in case you could try to catch it. Let me know. Um, I'll start trying to leave the links anyways, but don't get mad at me if the link don't work. Anyways, um, so this is the case and i do got my airpods right here so we can see if it um if it fits my airpod case hopefully it do i don't feel like my words was printed as good as it could have been printed because I saw somebody else's picture of theirs and theirs looked crispy. You know, embarrassed. This is really embarrassing. Hmm, let's see. Or maybe, maybe it's not focusing. I don't know. So as y'all can see, I am not impressed with this case, but I can't trip. I mean, it was only $3. I just was trying to be cheap because at the moment, I don't want to pay close to $100 for an AirPods case, but it looks like if I really want it, that's the route I'm going to have to take. So just so y'all know, that is the risk you take when you buy dupes. You never know if it's going to be exactly like, you know, the original product or not. But again, I'm not complaining because it was only $3. So I'm going to probably um, end up going to find and look for some more. And I won't be using this. Subscribe, join the team. Let's be friends. Also, connect with me on social media. All my info will always be down in the description box. Thank y'all. If you are returning, I appreciate you for rocking with the girl and i will see y'all in the next haul one more thing before i go i also have a few small businesses slash black owned businesses that i have to support and shout out there it is okay so i kept getting questions on this necklace i wear this one and the silver one and the company that i got it from is called the plus shop um, she also goes by Plushberry Jewels. She's killing it right now with the jewelry. Um, I do plan to go shop with her again soon because I love the like vintage look and stuff. And I also love the um, designer inspired stuff. And also shop with Waste B Muse, which will be my aunt. She is out of Philly, but she makes some really bomb waist beads so i have some here and i've actually never worn waist beads before so i am pretty excited to wear these but she has all types of different colors of waist beads for y'all to choose from she's always having good deals and different sales and it comes in this pink baggie Another one that I'm going to shout out is called the Exo Diana Collection. I'm so glad that I found her business. Baby girl, I'm coming back to probably get a, um, a name name necklace, but it's like um, the script font. And it's like iced out. So anyways, 
um i've got questions on this anklet this chanel anklet that i have on absolutely love it love it to pieces and yeah so um last but not least shop with this small business she actually chose me to be her model for her photos and she's gonna have fire loungewear so make sure you check her out as well and i will see y'all in the next video